If you get caught in the rain this weekend, it's always nice to snuggle up with a DVD. And here to tell you what's out, what's good, what's bad, and what's ugly is Jamel Davidson from Birmingham Weekly. Take it away, Alexa and Jamel. Thanks, Anna, and thanks, Jamel, for being here. What DVDs should we snuggle up to this weekend? There's good stuff this week. Like, it's all good. It's all stuff wow. that I plan on owning. Good stuff. So there you go. Um, first off, we have Cloverfield. Which, if you didn't get a chance to see it in the theater, it's a giant monster attacking gringos in New York, and it's a good time. And it's, a, it, it, <clears throat> it's done from the perspective of someone grabbed a camera and ran and tried to record the whole thing, which I wouldn't have done. I would have tried to escape the monster, but... I usually, yeah, would, I think I would run in the other direction. Hey, monster, all right, leave camera, run. Blair Witch. But see this, you know, this is what happens. In um, that part of New York, I guess. Crazy kids. Those young kids these days, they don't know monsters want to eat you. But now it's on DVD. Um, apparently there's a bunch of bonus footage. Not as much bonus footage as there is going to be on the Blu-ray release. Whenever that comes out. When whoever was actually filming it gets eaten. It, hopefully. Um, so I say this is a rent and then buy it in Blu-ray because you're going to have to have a Blu-ray player anyway. Good call. At some point. Good call. Um, the Orphanage, mm -hmm. which is a Spanish ghost um, film. It's f brought to us by Guillermo del Toro. He didn't direct it. Okay. But he did do Devil's Backbone. You may be more familiar with Pan's Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. If you like those, you will like this. It's crazy ghost kids wearing burlap sacks on their heads, and that's just a good time. It sounds like Halloween gone wrong. Uh, Halloween can't go wrong. Like, so that's old that's school, very and we don't get that anymore. Very true. I very know true. America made prom night number one. I don't know why. They just don't know what they're missing, because when I was a kid, horror movies were R-rated. Let's be honest, prom night, it's going to come out as, like, next year it will be junior prom night. Oh, uh, no. Middle and Miley, school dance. Miley Cyrus will be uh, her and her internet photos. Don't look them up. What? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm on top of things. I'm... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Jamel the, predicts the future. The terrible it. Hollywood minute with Jamel. This is stuff that's going to happen. No, it actually already has. Again, don't look it up, but it's true. Um, finally, Tim and Eric, awesome show. Great job. How to explain this show. Okay, imagine Alexa and I mm -hmm. did this show with a lot more drinking, dancing, and occasional vomiting. So it would be like <laughs> if we would, like hit the town on a Friday night. And then came in and did the show. That's hey, Tim and Harry's awesome idea. show with a lot of guest stars. It's, it's from Adult Swim, so you know it's silly. It's a good time. We it's, love Adult Swim. It's like a bad cable access show, but on purpose. I like that. Weird Al shows up all the time. Um, John C. Riley's on there constantly. Um, this is the collection of their first season from a couple years ago. Ten episodes, chock full of extras, all of that good stuff. It's a good time. It's a party disc. Pop it in, have a Guinness or a Pepsi Max, and enjoy yourself. There you or go. some Mahatma Rice. <laughs> at your fancy party. <laughs> all right. Good call. I mean, we have the food. We have the DVD. You got all you need. Jamel, you are just, that is why you are a resident movie guru. I do what I can. All right, stick around. We're going to talk about new releases hitting theaters now. Yes. Back to you, Anna.